my friend. Um, in the last session, we learned about the set value API. So in this session, I want to share with you the S value API. Because if you want to be an expert on on framework, you need to understand clearly about its uh, API and try to work around before going deeper uh, and in more detail. So what is the S value? S value. Uh, let me open the visual S and show you the case that you need to use the S value more than the share uh, the set value. So you already see on the screen right now. <clears throat> so we have the uh, email and the backward view here. But there are some uh, some application. They have something like a prefix. Let me see some something like a prefix, something like that. Prefix, and that's prefix here. And you need to add value. If you use the set value, it will clear the prefix and add the new one. So in that case, you just need to add the new one, and you still keep the prefix here. So that's why you need to use the add value. Okay. So we are going to try the S value for the emails uh, field and try to demonstrate how to use it. So just open the your IDE and we already have the code, the old code here. So just uh, try to create a new JavaScript file under the API folder like S value. Enter and you just need to copy all of this from the set value because we will modify something. There will be nothing new, but I need to de demonstrate about um, about the, the add value. So choose input username and password. Uh, choose input username um, with, um, so the symbol says the API name that the add value API, okay? So um, the login, we will keep the login icon on the home screen because we need to click on the login and then with the email password uh, in the same way. So we need to keep it and we will delete the password text view and the login button because we don't need to do it. And we have the login icon, we have the email text view to try to delete the, the rest step. So we need to click on the login on the home screen and then we fill the email test field by using as value. So instead of using set value, I'm going to use the as value two times. Okay, as value. And the first the first screen that's the AR and the second one will be dot com. Okay. And then I will try to demonstrate about three. Uh, demonstrate. About, uh, about set value here. So um, <clears throat> in the set value, we will try to input the new one, that's the email test view. And then we set value. Uh, uh, this is the new one, so uh, new as a.com. So what I'm going to do that we use the S value and to see it can input the A art and the S value again to see dot com. But now in the the, the code line 17 here when we call the API set value it will delete the old one it will be different with the S value and add the new at a.com and then you can see the deep difference between them. So just go back to reason why why do we need to use as value and in which case we need to use as value instead of set value. As I mentioned in the uh, in the beginning of this lesson, because there there is some application they have some prefix test and in this in that case you don't you don't want to delete the prefix test and you want to keep the prefix test here and then you add the rest one. Uh, so in that case, you need to use the S value, okay? So just run the S value test case by opening the tag configuration and then try to replace the set value test case in the last session by the S value test script here. 
So just simple try to replace it as value.cf and then stock the server. In this case, the server didn't stock, so we are going to stock manually in the background by using the SBM SBM enter. It will stock on the default box 20, uh, 4723 and is now listening. So we are going to stock the command npm test run parameter with the tag configuration file location. <clears throat> So now the app may start this and try to reach the target device. Now it's trying to is it trying to open the target application? This is the, the log for IPM server and this is the log for the testing. Now the application is launched by IPM. If you click on the login icon, and then you see, hey, uh, and dot com. Oh, something wrong here. Something wrong here with the S value. Let me see. S value. You can see that um, the second S value is the list, the old one. Maybe there's something changed with the ABI S value to, let's see the description again. Huh. It seems there is a bug with WebDriver I.O. in the new version because you can see uh, it's now uh, because it is supposed to do what we add the S value at here and dot com again and we need to see a at, uh, a dot com or something like that. Let me see. We try to run the test script again. If that case happen again, that may occur with web web driver I/O framework or something change. Hmm. Oh, that's a, uh, that is a perk. Because from the description for the S value ABI and the, the example here, you can see the input that dot S value and the input view S value again, and they expect something like value is now test. One, two, three. Mm. And our code here is just the same. That's here as value. Let's try to train the same like them. So let's declare here, uh, let me declare uh, a variable let um, email uh, tag few element. Uh, let's stand at uh, LM, okay? Uh, LM stands for element. And I'm trying to do the web driver IO to find out that element. After that, I will use that element here and here. So I try to find that element and this will return for me an element ID. And then I will use that element and call the web driver IO uh, as value API to see maybe there's a difference. Okay, so just try to run the test script again.
It's so strange because it didn't happen in the version five. I tried. I don't. I don't upon you the S value, but I did use it before. Hmm. Nothing changed. Nothing changed. So prob probably we have a bug here. But anyway, that's it. That's it. What uh, S value ABI is supposed to work. So um, in the meantime, you can use the set value because you don't often see something like you have a prefix and you had a, a new one. So if you have a prefix in your application, you may already knew and you try to add it in the prefix at a string and then you try to use set value. I think there's a bug with add value. Let's see, uh, maybe I'm going to buy a bug report for the web driver IO framework. Um, and, but anyway, the add value uh, you can do in the feature uh, let's see when is this. Um, the second thing I want to try to introduce that the, the clear, the clear value ABI. So the clear value ABI was it will do that it will clear um, the, the the text view. So let's try to clear for clear the text view. Okay, by using the by using the clear value API here. So let me try to specify the email test field and then we call the clear value. And when, uh, then we can see that's what will happen. Just run the test again. You see, the clear value ABI is now clear the email test view. So to, for the today lesson, <clears throat> what we know that the S value will add the value into a field without clearing uh, uh, the field. But maybe there's a bug with web driver IO in the current version. So it's a, uh, there was a the, the mid test that is clear the view instead of as the uh, adding more work into that field. And the second thing we know that it, the clear value API uh, is due to clear uh, uh, a test field uh, completely, as you can see. So try to press it and see you in the next lessons.